Hello, my name is Wesley Wilson. I'm a graduate student at Texas A&M Commerce University. I wanted to thank you today for having me to discuss uh, the different currency hedging options that your company has with their vitamin supplier down in Columbia. Uh, today, I want to go over uh, the different foreign exchange risks that occur when we have suppliers in other countries. Um, I also wanted to jump in and talk about the recent 12 months of the Colombian peso versus the United States dollar. Then I'll be talking about the different hedging options that your company has. Um, the first one will be the forward contract and the next will be the options contract. And then I'll be discussing my conclusion. First, let's discuss the foreign exchange risk that we see with uh, suppliers down in other countries. Um, fluctuations of the dollar uh, do happen and when this happens, there's gains and losses that occur. Now, these gains and losses occur because of future cash payments. Um, if you're buying vitamins in Columbia and you're buying these vitamins on credit and you're promising that uh, future payment for the vitamins, you don't know if that rate is gonna go up or down in the future. And so these cause the gains and losses that we see. Fortunately, there are financial hedging instruments that we can use today to mitigate these losses. Before we talk about those though, let's go over the currency exchange for the past 12 months of the Colombian peso to the United States dollar. And as we see here, um, the dollar was actually weak in the beginning of the year uh, versus the Colombian peso. And towards the end of the year here, we see that the Colombian peso was actually weakened and the dollar has actually gotten quite strong. Now, uh, let's talk about some hedging options that your company has. Uh, when purchasing these vitamins. First, let's go over the currency forward contract. Now, a currency forward contract cancels out both the gains and the losses that one might receive due to fluctuations in the market. Now, in order to utilize this contract, negotiations need to take place between the Porter Products um, Inc. and the vitamin supplier down in Columbia. Now, negotiations will cover uh, a fixed exchange rate that you will purchase the vitamins on at a future rate. Now, this option is best when we see a downward trend or there's wild uncertainties in the market. And what I mean by downward trend is the Colombian peso is actually strengthening, the dollar is actually weakening, and there, you realize that there's gonna be some losses in the future or the market is wildly fluctuating and you see that fluctuation and you don't know if it's gonna go up or down, this is the best option for that. Now, the second hedging option we see is called the options contract. Now, the options contract characteristics, they actually cancel out the losses, but they allow your company to realize gains. And that happens through uh, an options writer. An options writer uh, is someone that you're going to negotiate with instead of the vitamin supplier down in Columbia. Now the options writer and your company will come to a fixed rate that you will either call, which is buy uh, currency from the options writer in, in the future at a fixed rate, or you will put, you will first uh, buy currency and then put, you will sell that currency to the, um, the options writer at a fixed rate. Now, in order for the options writer to take on all of this risk, he does charge a fee or a premium. Um, the best time to use this contract is when there's an upward trend or there's a uh, slight uncertainty in the market. And what I mean by upward trend is that, is what we saw, is that the, the dollar is actually strengthening and the foreign currency is actually weakening. And uh, my conclusion is that we need to use the currency options contract. I, I suggest that your company does a call option where they're buying currency in the future at a fixed rate. And we need to use this option because uh, there's an upward trend in the market, which means that that currency from Columbia was weakening, the dollar was strengthening, and your company is more likely to see gains than losses. But just in case there is losses, you have mitigated uh, the risk through this hedging option that we see here. And that small fee that you pay to the options writer is small relative 
to the big losses that your company could receive due to fluctuations in the market. Thank you for your time. Um, if you have any questions regarding these, uh, this conclusion or these types of options, please feel free to reach out to me. Thank you.